What is going on, people? It's Eliza from My Charge Back. Before we get started, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe. And if you've been the victim of a scam, click the link in the description below. Now, folks, today I want to give you a consumer warning about how you spend your money online. Folks, whether you're buying something on Amazon or you're investing in, let's say, Forex, always, and I mean always, use a credit card. Why do I say that? Okay, let's suppose for a second that you're a normal human being, okay? You're normal, you work nine to five, maybe you're retired, whatever, you did your nine to five, all right? You're a competent person, a regular person. At some point, inevitably, you are probably going to get scammed. Everybody falls for some sort of scam. Now, the question is, do you want to put yourself in a situation that's easy to recover your money? And when I say that, I mean that in a very relative sense. Well, we deal with a lot of different payment methods here at my chargeback and what at least I find to be the quickest and most efficient, nine times out of 10, is the actual chargeback itself. All right? This is basically, it's reversing the payment. Service is not rendered. Whether you ordered a microwave and they sent you a toaster oven, or whether they said that you were guaranteed to make hundreds of thousands of dollars and uh, you didn't. They just ran away with your money. Services not rendered. All right, I've done my own chargebacks. A lot of people have done it. But when it comes to the complex object of lots of chargebacks all at once with large amounts of money, well, that's another matter. All right, well, I would regard it still as relatively simple relative to something like crypto, although comparable to bank wire transfers. but. It still has complexities. It still takes time. And yes, it still takes professional knowledge like ours. Why? Because there are something like 958 pages worth of laws regarding chargebacks. And normally, where a bank says, oh, the airline canceled your flight and they haven't refunded you. Okay, here's $1,000 back for your ticket. When we are talking about something like nine or 10 transactions and there's hundreds of thousands of dollars at stake, well, they're not necessarily as eager to deal with it. So let me put this all in layman's terms about exactly what happens, okay? You go to your bank and you file for a chargeback. Your bank contacts the scammer's bank. All right, the issuing bank contacts the merchant bank. All right, the merchant then has time to reply. So the scammer, the bad guy, Mr. Fake Forex Broker, this platform, meta this, meta that. All right, so the bad guy bank account. That's what I'm going to call it. Now, the bad guy gets a chance to respond. And there's a lot of he said, she said, and a lot of other give and take that goes on. And sometimes for several months because these are big amounts and when it's a lot of transactions it has to occur for each one all right so as you can see the web is a scary place right everybody's frightened about this frightened about that but at the end of the day we know that uh you have no problem absentmindedly shopping on amazon or wherever Okay, I have a wife, she does this too. And we know that people don't necessarily do their research into investments, all right? Now, I happen to be fortunate, okay? I grew up around people who worked with investments, with money and things like that. And then I went on to become educated in all this stuff. Not everybody has that, okay? So... Let's say somebody contacted you and they sweet talk to you. All right, this platform is going to make you a bajillion dollars a day. It's going to make you 5% profits per day. I guarantee it. And it looked really real. Well, let's say you're going to make the mistake of falling for it for whatever reason. 
All right, you're human. It happens to millions of people every year. Pay with a credit card because the second they don't let you withdraw your money and you're like, hey, and you go searching around the internet to find out what to do and you come to us, I got to tell you something. We're just going to win it for you. You know, does it always work? No. Am I absolutely 100% convinced that our director of operations, Mr. Marcus David, can do one in his sleep? Yes. All right, I'm convinced that our vice president of international operations, Mr. Michael Cohen, can do a chargeback in his sleep as well. Don't even get me started on the rest of the staff. All right, it's quick and efficient relative, relative to other payment methods for the most part. But it gets complex when there's big, 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 big dollar amounts, euro amounts, dinars involved. So, when you're shopping, always use that credit card. And you know what? If it turns out to be a scam, contact us. Click the link in the description below. I'm going to leave it there for today. I've been Elijah. We'll see you next time.